what we need to do is two rows of the figure eight stitch again. Um, so we're going to do that with the rainbow collar since that's what we started with. So cut the black. And what I like to do is I will follow it along the path of a few of, I'll show you, just follow along the black and then put it down in the middle. And then you just go with your figure eight. I'm going to sit that. One thing that helps, sitting this in a little glass bowl. So as you can see, do the figure eight stitch and that is, oops, trapping the black yarn down. But just so I can get it tightened in the way I want to, I'm going ahead and knitting off just a few of them that have the black that way I can take and tighten that string up and leave it just lay right in that track if some of it comes out that's perfectly fine you got it wove back pretty good so you can trim off any little edges that might come off but go ahead and do two rows of your figure eight stitch, just how you started it out. Uh, this is row one, then you'll knit off, then you'll do a second row. I have my two rows done. Let me see it up close. Now we get to the fun part. I still have my yarn hooked. Have it tucked in a little yarn pocket. I guess that's what I'm going to call it. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to zoom this in some for you. Actually, I want to zoom it in on that side. There we go. At this point, what we're going to do is we've got to get all the stitches from this inside circle on this outside circle, and then we're going to do a basic bind off. So just start anywhere. Pick the stitch up from one side. You want to keep it twisted and put it on the other side. It's probably the most difficult thing in this entire project. You want to kind of push them down as you go so that the stitches don't pop off. Once you get oh part of it done, you can actually kind of pull down on this part, see? And that'll kind of pull them down and secure them. You see, I'm making sure to leave them twisted. Oops, yeah, drop that one, pick it up, make sure it's still twisted. So go all the way around the loom and do that, and then you can kind of pull them down. And every loom, every peg on the loom will have two stitches like this on them. Every peg has the two stitches now, and this inside loom is completely empty. So for our cast off, like I said we are doing a basic cast off. I'm taking my ball of yarn, throwing it back into the bowl. The basic, a basic bind off, which let me move my camera down just a little bit, maybe make it a little easier to see this. <clears throat> it's not a hard cast off at all, and it gives a very nice edge to it. See? The edge looks crocheted and very nice and even. But I'm doing it with both stitches. You can take the bottom loops over the tops, but then you end up with like a, with holes. So step one, you e-wrap two pegs. See the yarn is coming from this peg. So I'm e-wrapping these two pegs. You take both bottom stitches over the top because you're treating them just like one. So let's say this is peg one, this is peg two. Take the stitch from peg two, put it on peg one. Then you want to knit off, which we'll take that bottom loop over. Now I need to fill in this gap. Step three, you just move the stitch over and fill in the gap. Even though this is a new stitch, we're still going to consider this peg one. So we knit, we wrap two pegs. From now on, 
only the second peg will have two stitches on it because that first peg will be a new stitch. So there's step one, step two, second stitch over and knit off. Step three, fill in the empty space. I'll show you a couple more times. E wrap two, bottom over. See, there's two on that one, both of them over. Stitch from peg two onto peg one, knit off, and then move it, move it back over. Okay, and I'll show you one more time. Step one, E wrap two pegs, knit off. Step two, Stitch from peg two onto peg one and knit off. Step three, fill in the gap. Move stitch one to stitch to stitch from peg one to peg two. Do this all the way around the loom. When you get to your last couple, I'll show you what to do. Down to my last two pegs. As you can see, I did absolutely nothing different than what I showed you the whole way around. Make sure I got this in the shot. So we e wrap the two. knit them off and then move the second one over knit off then we cut the string you want to have enough to weave in pull the string up or down through the loop it really doesn't make a difference that just creates a bit of a knot and forces it to stay there. Alright, there we go. Let me zoom out. 